What's going on guys? Uh, do a quick feature overview to get everybody started. A um, little quick walkthrough. So the app navigation is broken down into four main sections. I'm sure a lot of you have already figured this out by now. Um, you know, from left to right, you know, we'll start with the uh, broker selection. So, you know, again, pretty self-explanatory. You know, right now, I currently have Binance and Oanda. You can do Forex and some commodities and metals, you know, through Oanda. So it's you know, a good thing to know. Um, Binance, we'll stick with that for now. We'll keep that selected. So we'll go over to the pair configuration menu. Now, this is where you select which pairs you'd like to scan for. So what we're going to do is let's search for BTC. You know, we're going to search for the actual, the symbol on Binance. So we're going to search any BTC pair. Um, and you also have high pass volume filters up top. This is important. Um, this allows you, you know, for, for the crypto pair, for Binance, you can use a high pass filter to basically not return anything with low 24 hour trading volume. How this works is, uh, you know, that number that you see on that, on Binance, on the exchange website, you can see the 24 hour trading volume. That's what this is. It's just returned through the API. So, you know, we're going to look for anything above 1000 Bitcoin traded per 24 hours. So, you know, that'll keep the low, low crap garbage out. Okay, let's hit search. All right, we've got some pairs returned. So we're gonna select just a few of them. Um, doesn't have to be anything crazy. Now, always hit apply here. This is imp important. Um, once you select pairs again, you have to apply it because this is saved as an internal XML file. Um, so, you know, basically, so when you close the app and reopen it, it remembers which pairs you had. So you can have a configuration set up that you don't have to go reconfigure every time. So just make sure you hit apply after you hit search. Now let's go over to the algorithm configuration. It's the third icon over. We're going to create a new algorithm. Uh, let's give it a name. Let's do something simple. Let's say RSI above 50 on H1. I like to break things down by time frame, but uh, just makes it easier to keep track of mentally. Let's give it a give it a color. Let's hit create. This is going to create a new algorithm. Now, inside of each algorithm, there are components. Each algorithm is comprised of components, and there can be as many components as, as you'd like, infinite. Um, and they all have to return a true result. So basically they all have to be a positive match for the algorithm to trigger. And this is an important concept to understand. So you can't have, you know, an algorithm like in this one, I couldn't have two components, one of RSI above 50 and one of RSI below 50 because they can't both be true. So it's can't possibly return a positive match. So it's just something to keep, keep in mind is that all conditions have to be met for an algorithmic match to trigger. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit our settings icon on our algorithm here and we're going to add components. We're going to create a new component. We're doing H1, so we're going to go one hour RSI level is above 50. I have it in here by default. Um, you can go above or below 50. Just hit apply. There we go. We've got it right here. We can go back to the settings icon and you can see that it saved it in here. We have one hour RSI level above 50. So it's gonna, we'll hit exit here, we'll go back. So this algorithm is now configured to scan every pair that we've configured here for an RSI level above 50. Pretty simple. So we go over to our scan, which is the far right icon Let's just hit scan and run it. It's going to go out and return all, all time frames from the API. Um, search every pair that we have configured for the algorithm that we have configured with components. And if all components inside the algorithm are met, it will return a positive match and go to the next algorithm if there are more configured, which there will be. But for the sake of demo here, okay. Here we go. We got two matches, ETH BTC and BTC USDT. RSI is above 50. 
pretty simple. We'll stop that. Um, that's basically all there is to it.